There are a few key differences between exterior renderings and interior renderings that we should know about. To see this, we first need to open up the rendering dialog box by coming to the bottom of the screen and then highlighting over the little teapot icon and then clicking the teapot. When we do, we'll see the rendering dialog box. About midway down, there's an option called lighting and below that, scheme. Whenever you first start doing rendering, there's a very good chance you'll forget to change this. You'll click render and then wonder why nothing looks the way you expect it to look. Well, the reasoning behind that is, is that you probably forgot to turn your interior lights on or all your light fixtures on. And that's what exterior sun only means. You're only going to get light from the sun. If we click where it has exterior sun only, we can see a few more options. One is exterior sun and artificial. This means that you'll get both sun and artificial light, so light from your light fixtures, rendered in your scene. Artificial only? These usually work well, particularly with exterior, for nighttime scenes. The sun is down, and all you want to see are those lights being cast from either inside of your building or from big light fixtures that you have hanging around the outside of your building and your site. Also, there's interior sun only. That means that the only light you're going to get will be coming through the windows when you're doing that rendering. Interior sun and artificial, both sun and artificial light. And finally, artificial only interior. This means that you're only going to get the lights that are being cast from the light fixtures inside of your building. So your different lighting schemes are going to be exterior and interior and whether or not there's sun or artificial light on. The other thing that you should know is that there's the sun setting here. And if we click on little dots here, this gives us the ability to, in this rendering, change where the sun is in the sky. And we can do that either over here, down here, and they're pretty much self-explanatory as to what it is that they're indicating, or by clicking on Still. And from there, you can change the location in the world that you're doing this from. Manchester, New Hampshire, by the way, happens to be where the main Revit team is located at. So that's the reason why they included it in here by default first. If you click on these little dots right here in this box, we'll see that we can either use an internet mapping service and then type in an exact address so we get the exact location where the sun should be in the exact right lighting in the exact right spot in the sky when we do our renderings. Or we could use the default city list and then just pick one of the many, many, many cities that are here. And then after picking on one of them, you'll get the correct latitude and longitude for that city. I'm going to click on OK and OK. And by doing that, not only will you have either the sun on or off, but if the sun is on, the sun will be in the right spot in the sky at the right time of day, at the right time of year, shining into your building, and you'll have very accurate renderings as to how that building is going to look, may it be on the exterior or interior shots, when it comes time to do that rendering.